you know, a lot of times we just sit and we think, like, what did we do before him? Like, what what were we doing with our lives? Like, it's so much more fun and exciting and different now. We're more spontaneous now. We've got to just go around him instead of always planning. You know, we just go around what he wants to do and, you know, go from there. It's exhausting. Um, I feel like we're tired a lot. All the time. Um, but then you Drinking. look at them, it gives you energy. But And I think juggling our schedules, like figuring out what works best work-wise. Yeah, I think just figuring out, like balancing, like how do I be mom and how do I be Abby and figuring out that balance has been big. For me, it's just watching him do different things every day. I mean, it changes, like him clapping or him walking or, you know, the little things of just seeing him grow up. Yeah, and just watching him learn and, you know, for such a little human, like how much he processes and, you know, likes to look at things and explore things and it makes you just kind of stop and notice like, oh, that tree is a little different or that sky is really blue today or just kind of just see things differently. I mean, for me, I was never, I was always the younger kid, so for me, just experiencing this whole thing, like, I'm learning with him. I, you know, I you know, don't know when he's going to start walking and doing a little feeding or, you know, that type of stuff. So I just enjoy watching him and understanding him. I think it's, a, yeah, it's a different life from what we were used to, right? We're a little bit less selfish than we were now. Than yeah. before. And I just hope that he knows like how great of a family that he has. Like not just Tim and I, like we we know we're always gonna give him hundred percent, but just like our parents, his grandparents have been phenomenal. And I think like to me like this is the meaning of of life is having a family and you know, passing on things to the next generation.